What's up guys, this is Sherrick Talking. welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how to find all different paths, riddles and the best places to farm on first page of the Crescent Record. Now, a very important information. When you are playing this free quest stages, you will unlock a new stage when you reach level 10 on any. And the new stage that you unlock will be random, so you don't know which stage you will be unlocking. So, you can see here on stage level 10. But, when I'm covering the video, I need to specify the stages that I'm covering. I figured it was easier to explain riddles and farming setups page by page. So, this video will be centered on covering the first page. So that's right, we have four different regions here, and I will go for the first one, Collapsed Corridor, first. Here, it's super simple, actually. We just have to go and beat enemies. And there is just one thing that you have to do that is different. And that is when you are unlocking new stages. You will unlock up to this point here. And it's the Collapsed Corridor 1 tree. Here you have to defeat all enemies in less than 5 actions. And to do so, you have to bring someone that's super strong for UE farming. That is Sadwin. Or Galahad. Both have access to very strong AoE attacks. If you don't have those here, you can use a combination of multiple characters with slash attacks, and it will be very easy. I will show you first Sarwin with his destructive blow, a triple S weapon, and max status right now with 668 SDR. So, first challenge, the easiest one. Sarwin has very high damage, and I believe these enemies have around 230,000 HP. If you don't have enough power, bring people that increases status like Shrey, like Enya, or some other increased damage types. And, well, after you do this, you unlock a new path. And, whoa, one enemy survived it. That's super funny. It doesn't use only, but maybe some different enemies have higher amounts of HP. Okay. Besides Saruin, you can also run, like I said, Galahad here, and Galahad will work also on the next stage, then I believe it's better. I do think the enemies have higher HP on stage 1 tree, and lower HP or maybe just higher weakness on 1 4. And here you can actually bring two different types of characters, if you want to grind here, it's Galahad. Let's keep it to the second wave to cut down running time, and yeah, the enemies have around 230 HP, we are doing close to 290,000, so more than enough. The next one will be Merlot Syrah on the Godspeed transformation, and always don't forget to bring a banner unit. Merlot is as fast as Saruin and will never fail, and can just use the normal double S weapon and has enough power. Maybe you have to double promote to guarantee, but it's pretty good. And you can see here we are always getting 200 experience. And now we can go to the left teleport screen and it will show you a signpost saying that you must find a hidden guide post to open the path. And to do so, go back to the path screen, now go to your right, and here you have to tap on this location to unlock this hidden guide post. After you did that, you can go back to the first screen and go left again. And here you will find a new path, where you can fight this boss. Boss will give you 250% if you are bringing a banner unit. So, increase the experience, and you can run Leon the third, with just his normal cycle, he's gonna solo this. I just cut down to the second wave, to make it faster. And yes, Leon can do this easily. And this is the stage that you will want to grind to increase the level of the stage. Now, if you don't have Leon, don't worry, we can use Creator. Creator has very good lightning damage. So, place him on the front line of Godspeed's transformation with normal cycles, and then you can bring, for example, the latest job. And she's gonna help just leave her with the uh, Frost Shot on 0 and Odd Circle on 12, so that she actually uses this on the second turn. And it's fast, it will be enough to do the damage, and we have 3 trainees. Since this has two different cycles. I'll show you what happens. Purge goes first. You always kill the enemy. 
either with Purge itself or with the Chase attack. And on the second wave, it's Joe. And if Joe doesn't kill by herself with her Chase attacks, Critter will help a little. Critter went first, but it changes from time to time. Hot Circle is strong, but she still needs to Chase, I guess. And like I said, the best stage because you can reach 250% experience. Now we will move to Collapse the Corridor 2. And here you start on this point, and when you reach 2-5, you have to just uh, actually defeat all the enemies with 5 actions or less. It's an AoE stage, so it's easy to bring Leon the Third if you have, and for example, Shuzer, or any other Muchi AoE planta damage dealer. It's easy to use them together because they cannot kill by themselves, so we'll be using each one on both waves. So the best formation to use is the Wave Array 1, and bring your best equipments, and you can do this in 4 actions with the squad. If you do not have Shooter, Rofus will do the job, or many other gunners. Okay, let's see how much damage we get. Leon will do more than Shooter, I guess, because his attack is B power. Sparring hits doing 124k. Yeah. Gunner Assault will do more now because we casted Morali up as well. Just cut the animation to save time. And now on the second wave, just the same thing again. Doesn't matter who goes first, we still have enough firepower. Spire hit first. Okay, then Gunner Assault doing more damage, especially since I'm using the Remembrance Gun. Four actions. And after you clear this, it will unlock a path to this teleport that will give you access to the boss stage. And here in the boss stage, you fight enemies with two blunt. So again, you can simply run the third Leon if you have him. Cutting down to the second wave. Let's see the damage. Leon. I had someone here attacking as well, but it's not really important. Leon will always do more than 400,000. The good thing, 250% experience when you are running Neon and one banner unit. I was not bringing a banner unit this time, so do it. Okay, now you can just go to the teleport and here you have a new area where you have a new boss and this boss will be increasing your experience to 150 and if you are bringing a banner style, 250. It can be soloed by Leon third style with use of acrobatic race in a god speed stance formation. Now cut into the second wave just so that you can see the Leon damage with the remembrance gun. But he just got a combo. I guess it will be very high, but just two bullets will be enough to kill after you use acrobatic race. Now if you do not have Leon you can bring Harji in the same god speed stance formation. He's gonna one shot the first enemy, the second he won't, but then just bring a banner unit to train skills, and in the case of Shure with a bow, he will easily do. Okay, let's see first wave damage. I'm using the Remembrance weapon, but RG has his own weapon that has just a little less power. Right now he's doing 578k, but Shure buffs the status, so probably 515k without Shure, something like that. Now the second skill is a little weaker, punching my way, did, and then 31k. Well, anyone else that would attack will finish. Now let's move to Ruins Garden 1, the next area, and here you have a riddle right on start. You can see on the signpost, and it says, Oh, you, who are obsessed with uh, your strength from time as human, Dentark, bring him and clear any stage, especially this one that the enemies are weak to pierce. You can just bring your Merlotira here and run. And one run we will unlock a new path. And the new path will lead you into the next area inside this stage. And here in this stage, call it Ruins Garden 1-6, you have to clear with three actions or less. And you can still run Merlotira. They say the enemy here is weak to cold. But not always, some enemies are weak to cold, lightning and fire. So keep running Merlor to if it's your best damage dealer, and even if you get 3 or 4 hits, eventually you will clear. But let's say you don't have Merlor to there is another character that works well here, and that is Halloween Silver, the inheritance of Stormroar from her summer style. 
you can use the Godspeed's transformation and you attack two times. Bring cards that increases damage, for example, any increases status, red increases damage, that is buffs, and Shiray increases status. So as you can see, the first wave is made of enemies aligned in a row. You're going to take advantage of this on the next run, but Storm Roar is strong enough to just solo them. With a combo, it was more than 200,000. Let's keep it the combo animation to reduce the time. But the enemies have around 240k, so Silver is doing much more than that. Because we have access to a triple S power weapon that increases the damage we can do with such a character. So, like I said, the first wave has enemies aligning in a row. You can take advantage of that by using Summer Copelia with her row attack. You can also use Joe with her row attack from her A style or the newest Gray. He also has a row attack with cold damage. Bring in the back row Galahad. Well, if you have his Winter Storm attack from his Welfare style, it's fast and he will attack twice as well. Magia Fight Formation. Okay, let's see the damage that we can do with Copelia. Training him uh, a little, but still not capped or anything. She's doing more than 250k, that's higher than 240, that's what they have, I believe. And on the second wave, Galahad will do the job. Winter Storm, and much higher than needed. Now, after you do this mission of clearing in three actions, you unlock the boss and it's Garden 1-7. Here you have multiple enemies. Actually, the first wave is in a row and the second one is enemies sparse. It. You can just run Miller to run. It's the best and easiest stage to grind for stage rank. And you get the extra 250 by just running one banner unit. Okay, let's just see uh, the second wave yeah simple doing 300,000 damage with the merlots roughly maxed right now and we can get 250 percent and now let's go to the ruins garden 2 the last area of this page here it's a little simple you see this first signpost saying uh, offer 50 souls here and the other one saying offer 30 souls here actually it doesn't need to be on where they are pointing. You can just run this stage, Ruins Garden 2 1, and here you can run Saruin if you have. If you don't, you can also run the newest Eagle Mall with Ikid Hector Inherited or uh, someone else. Just uh, Saruin with Destructive Blow will run, and well, 10 tickets will do enough. I believe you can kill at least 5 per run on this stage. And I will not run because it's simple. And after that, you will unlock the teleport that will lead you to the next area. And here, you have to kill 10 enemies and they are the... Oh, 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 oh. yes. You can find them either on the left side or on the right side. JP says you have to run the left side. So let's do this. And... Creator can run this on auto with a perfect strategy, just increase purge to 14, and if you have Shrey bring him on the back, he is going to increase your status and make this even easier. And if you have the Remembrance Weapon, bring if not, bring either Razen or Argis one. Okay, and here uh, the enemy is this purple one. That's the enemy that you need to kill 10 times. It may take some time to appear, just literally uh, running. And eventually you do uh, 10 kills. <laughs> There's a variation that is red. You have to kill this red version later in a different riddle. But with this one here, 10 copies and you are done. And now we will unlock the central stage, Ruins Garden to 6. Here's a boss and you get the increased experience. So 250 when running a banner unit. One character that can do this is Final Impress with an evil triple S weapon, and she can inherit Quadruple Moon Strike in a Dragon Stance EX formation. And if you bring a uh, banner unit, you are going to solo this easily. It doesn't need to be the Christmas style of Impress, you can also run her newest one, just inherit Quadruple Moon Strike, and she deals around 450k when using a triple S weapon. Not fully maxed yet, but very close. And the enemies 
probably have 420,000 or something among that. It's not super fast, but you can bring four trainees. Now, another suggestion would be to bring the newest Enya and use her Eclata Universe and the newest Shurei and with his Triple S Bow if you have it, but a Double S Bow will be just enough. He has a cycle where he opens with his skill number one and then he uses skill number three on the second turn. So they can actually kill the enemies and you can bring three trainees. Okay, so Shirei will use his normal attack. I mean, his skill number one that feels like a normal attack, but it's not. It buffs his status and he changes always. And then we have uh, Enya attacking. If Enya goes first, we still kill the enemy because Eclata Universe is too strong. She also chases. Now, on the last enemy, even if Enya goes first, who's going to kill will be Shirei. This animation is super fast, though. And with this, we finish the first page of Crescent Records. And if you do not find your riddle on this video, I will be covering it in another one, because I will be covering pages separately. But, sadly, all your stages will be unlocked randomly. With that said, thanks so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.